program today is, is focused on open RAN and 5G and on understanding the needs of CSPs. Why is it the right time for us to be addressing this area? Well, I think it's a pivotal moment for the industry now. Everyone's lining up their 5G investments and looking to deploy new services. So now's the right time to have the discussion about what's the way forward. Japan is one of the most competitive and interesting mobile service markets in the world. I'm talking today with Hideki Kurakawa from Big Lobe. We are um, providing our mobile services and because of these uh, market situations, we have to provide our services uh, in a very low prices. So in order to address to those uh, needs, we try to quickly deploy our services and by slicing technology to address to the various kind of needs. This is critical for the industry because as we move through the time of 5G, we will increasingly see uh, the complexity of the radio access network uh, growing. The critical thing is to start the planning very early. Um, a lot of assumptions are made that you can move reasonably easy from large scale pilots to full commercial deployments. But the key thing is understand what your high level design looks like, identify your partners that you're going to work with, uh, and then allow plenty of time for the low level design. Uh, there is the um, advent of like new uh, upcoming companies who specialize in, for example, virtualized RAN. So uh, I think that will spur the ecosystem more and a little bit of competition helps to ensure that really high quality uh, and highly performing virtual, virtualized RAN software is available for deployment. In order to achieve uh, higher diversity, of, uh, of contributors and also faster innovation in, in, in RAN space, it, it is really a significant opportunity. But at the same time, it is also bringing uh, new challenges. As, as we move ever towards 5G standalone networks, as opposed to the non-standalone networks we're using today, that really allows us to bring to life the uh, sort of massive device-based IoT parts of the capability and the ultra reliable low latency piece. So, you know, that will also mean that our networks will converge you know, between fixed, mobile, Wi Fi, the different technologies will come together into that really sort of integrated uh, smart network that we've talked about in the past. But we want to go further uh, by, uh, on, we want to take this sort of opportunity to change our approach. Uh, to introduce more automation in our processes and uh, this will be for me maybe the most uh, important challenge that we have to, to take. Hewlett Packard Enterprise has long history working with telecommunications. We have provided infrastructure, software and services to enable that and as I think about the next decade, HPE together with our partners have a tremendous opportunity to change the way we work and the way we live. So very excited about the opportunity and uh, obviously we have a lot of work to do in front of us but uh, I think you know we can do something very special unique together.